Hello and welcome to the Maths Doctor. In today's video we're looking at enlargements. This is part one of four videos on enlargement where we should be focusing on positive enlargements. So I'm going to show you through three different examples. This first one here we're going to be actually finding where the center of enlargement is. The next example we will be enlarging this triangle ABC by a scale factor of two. And the last example, we will be enlarging this triangle ABC uh, by a scale factor of three. And they all have their own um, little challenges. So this first problem, so we're going to find the coordinate of the center of enlargement. Now here we have an enlarged shape. Um, so an original object here and its enlargement there. We know it's the enlargement because that's C and that's C dash. That's D, that's D dash. Um, so that must be the enlargement of that. Now, what you need to do is get a sharp pencil and a ruler and you must draw construction lines from all the corresponding vertices. So in other words, from point C going through sorry from C dash going through C um, and you have to be really careful I mean it's easy for me because I'm using this fantastic software but for you using a pencil and ruler you have to check that that's one two three four units across and one unit up so that must continue four units one two three four and one up and you can see that's going exactly through the cross of the square So one two three four and one up exactly through the cross of the square and so on. So you really must line up your ruler first before committing um, to drawing the line. So let's now label um, or join up some of these other vertices. So E dash to E and already you can see these two uh, construction lines are converging there and that's the whole idea. If you draw it accurately they should all converge at exactly the same point and of course that point um, is your center of enlargement. So I can put that label there. C of E, center of enlargement, six units across and four units up. So that's a nice little trick. Um, and that's a very common exam question. So the next, next example, we are going to enlarge triangle ABC by a scale factor of two from the center of enlargement, negative five, two up. So it's this red dot is our center of enlargement. ABC is a triangle, it's our object we're going to uh, enlarge and we're going to enlarge it by a scale factor of two. So firstly, let me just show you um, what enlargements will look like. Um, if I slide this scale up, that is really what we're aiming for. That's a scale factor of two there. Let's have a bit of fun and take it up to scale to factor of three and scale factor of four. Of course, a scale factor of one is exactly the same size as the original object ABC. In the same way that timesing um, any number by one will just give you the same value of the original number. And let's see what happens if we go to a scale factor of zero. Well, we, we get nothing. In fact, in the same way as, as multiplying a number by zero, you get zero. So we are looking for that. That's a scale factor of two. And I'll show you how um, I'd go about doing this um, if, if I were to have a pencil and paper. So once again, I would draw my construction lines They're called ray lines in this package. So I would take my sharp pencil and ruler and draw a straight line from the center of enlargement going through each vertex on my object. That's gone through A, that's gone through B, and that's gone through C. It's very important that you, you, you draw it correctly going all the way through the line right to the very end of your page. Anyone can just draw um, it accurately from the center of enlargement to each vertex, but it has to continue to be correct. Otherwise, um, it might become quite unclear as to where your your enlarged points need to go. 
So this really is the key bit now. So let's count how many squares we go from the central enlargement to point A. Well, as you can see, that's one, two squares. So because it's uh, an enlargement of a scale factor of two, we need to double that. So rather than two units from central enlargement A, we're going to go four. So it's one, two, three, four. So that point there is actually going to be a dash. So I can label that now. Okay, the next point B. So from our center of enlargement, let's count going across. We're going one, two, three squares to the right and one down. So it's a scale factor of two, so we're going to double that. So rather than three across and one down, that'll be six across and two down. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. There you can see it, it's, it lies on the construction line, then it lies exactly um, on, the, on the cross of the square. So I'm, I'm happy that's in the right place. Finally, point C is one, two, three, four across and one up. So we'll double that. We'll be eight across and two up. So that's four to there, five, six, seven, eight, and two up is there. So, oh, I forgot to label my previous uh, vertex. So the previous one is there, is B1, and this one here is C1. So uh, we've done the hard uh, work, and now it's just a question of uh, joining up the vertices. So A to B to C, and then join that up. And we have a perfectly enlarged uh, triangle by a scale factor of 2. Okay, let's look at the third example. So what makes this one different is um, the center of enlargement is actually inside uh, the object that we're going to enlarge. We're also enlarging this by a scale factor of 3 um, from the center of enlargement 1, 2, which is one across 2 up, which is, which is that red uh, point there. So let's have a look at what we're aiming for. So that would be a scale factor of 2. And that would be a scale factor of three. So that's what we're aiming for. And there we have a scale factor of four. So actually the shape is sort of enlarging out in all directions when the center of enlargement is inside the shape. Okay, so we're going to do the same as before. We're going to draw our ray lines or our construction lines from the center of enlargement to, through each vertex and continue going out to the end of the page. So central enlargement to B and central enlargement to C. Now, this isn't essential to do this. But I always find um, it, it really helps with accuracy and, and it, looks, it looks nice as well. So in the same way as before, um, let's go from the central enlargement to A. So it's one down and two across. So we're going to times that by three this time. So rather than one down, it's going to be three down one two three and rather than two across times up by three so it'll be six across two four six so you can see there it is exactly on the construction line the cross of the square perfect and we need to label that a dash next point b is two across one down so times that by three is going to be six across so that's two four six and three down, which goes there. Label that B dash. And finally, point C is just one square up. So times that by three is three. One, two, three. So that will go there. And we'll label that C dash. So that's all the hard work done. Now it's the fun bit of joining up the vertices to make our new enlarged polygon and there we have it fantastic let's just check that by going uh, by moving our enlargement so that's a scale factor of two and a scale factor of three so I'm very happy with that so remember you can also find 
um, a worksheet and solutions to accompany this video at my website. Uh, if you're watching from YouTube, I've provided a link below the video. If you also found this video of value, you can show your appreciation by clicking the donate link from my website and donate any amount that you feel reflects the help that you have received. So good luck with the worksheet um, and yes, have